hello and welcome back to another episode of the 181 Rider Championship. We are here in Buriram, Thailand for this episode, so I'm not actually sure which round number this is, but we are getting to crunch time. It is near the end of the season now, so uh, trying to get points will be as crucial as ever. So without further ado, we will start the race. We've got quite a big championship lead actually now over Jack Miller in second. Well, actually, it might not even be Miller in second anymore, but uh, actually we can have a look. But it's still Miller, but we've got 34 points over Miller now, so it's a pretty big championship lead to have. I mean, it's bigger than, I think it's about as big as Miller had at one point. So yeah, without further ado, we'll head into the race. Oh, we'll get ready for the carnage, here we go. Whoa! Again, I say this every time, but I'm sure they get worse every time. Maybe I'll just forget, someone in the background there was falling down. Uh, someone's rubbing the wall, right, so... Let's just start anyway. Whoa! <laughs> oh, someone just came tumbling into the screen. Oh, I think there's there's a Rossi, and there's a Rossi bike next to him as well, but a different one. So we're, oh, we're down. I'm down at the back here. I, I know we fell off. We're next to a Kawasaki. They need some good points. They've not got any yet this season. I'm waiting on the floor, waiting behind. Oh, there's people riding across the track. I'll wait for 10 seconds. I don't want to wait too long. Right, let's go. The frame rate seems much worse than normal. Oh, we always hit Nakashima there. We've come across the track. That was my fault going across on him. Oh, okay. There's still some carnage going on. There's still people crashing all over the place. How have I then been hit by that bike that I've just hit out the way? I don't know. There's a Mark VDS tumbling down the road. Rossi, watch out. Oh, that guy's just disappeared. There's people still crashing coming out of turn one. I don't know how this is happening. Oh, can it's been absolutely rammed. But we're now up into 83rd position, so we dropped down to basically last and we've already gained 100 positions back through that first corner there. That was absolutely ridiculous. To the right hand side. Oh! 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 oh I did not see that. Why was he parked just across the track? Well, we've lost about 20 positions again. Garcia has just cut me up twice. He's just cut me up twice on the same straight. Are you joking me? Look, I didn't crash the second time, but wow. That is quite poor. We've got to watch out because obviously the Meta 3 riders are going very, very slow. And they seem to be... Oh! Biaggi's just been absolutely wrecked by Ricardo. Well, Ricardo has been wrecked by Biaggi and we've hit McPhee. We've hit McPhee as well. Great. Absolutely ridiculous. Wow, Jibben around the outside. There's Bezeki as well in 99th. So I've had a terrible start here. We were up in the 80s after the first couple of corners. We've crashed into so many motor 3 rides. This is not, not Yuchenko out of the way as well. Sete Jibinau is the next target. Jake Dixon's crashed with Biaggi, I think, there. The R's too busy looking at Biaggi hitting the back of somebody else. And I've just hit the back of McPhee. So, I've got to be watching what I'm doing, not what they are doing. I think it's Sete Jibinau, we go! That's a dive bomb if I've ever seen one there. Lorenzo leads, Rossi second, Dovi third. Wow, I don't think we'll be getting any decent positions today. They are miles ahead. We're probably about 20 seconds down on the leaders. And it's only been a lap. We waited for 10 and we've crashed twice, so it'll probably be about 20 seconds. We go down towards the final turn now. Around the outside of the Moto3 riders there. Philip Salach on the outside. Schrotter trying to get up the inside of him. On the power, there we go. Past Salach. We're probably going to get past Schrotter as well before turn 1. Yes, we are. What about Baldessari? Are we going to be able to get him around the outside into turn 1? I broke a little early because I didn't want to hit him. It's corner cut. That's going to affect his run, and he's on a Moto2, so we've zoomed past him. Lorenzo's crashed, we've got past him. Now back up into 92nd position then. Marquez, it's Alex Marquez on the left-hand side. Is he going to move across us? No, he's given us enough room. So we break for the hairpin now. Wayne Rainey's had a crash. And Ea Bastianini up next then. Hector Garzo's crashed with Wayne Rainey, I think. So I'm guessing we're catching up to the Moto E riders, the riders that are up in the front. Uh, he's crashed again, apparently, Rainey. So, yeah, not too good for him. There's Lopez, past Lopez, so we're back in front of Lopez now, past Antonelli, Caparossi up next, as people moving across, oh, we've threaded the need, oh, oh, what is this, roadblock, roadblock, what are all these people doing, oh, oh, this bike's tumbling, I've hit, I've, I've hit Digi, I've had contact with Digi, I've tried to go off the track to avoid us. how have I been respawned back here, what is this, oh dear, oh no, this is a bloodbath, oh, wow, and by Lopez still, which is annoying. Oh, the inside of all of the, the Rebel Rookies. 
Oh, we're avoiding Salach there. So we're still 95th. That was uh, definitely... Yeah, it's not been my best start, this one. But there's a massive horde of the modern day riders in front. Of the riders that are actually fighting for positions for are in our way as well. Oh, wow. Look at this. Burns has pushed somebody as well. We're up to 73rd again now. So we've just gained about another 20 positions. Looking at the inside of Rossi. We couldn't quite do it. We've sat Kenny Jr. up. Now we're up the inside of Rossi. Here we go. We're to 68th place now. So despite the fact that we've had a terrible start, so have some of this AI, because that was carnage! You just come around a blind corner and there's people just all over the place. I'm not sure how that even happened. Absolutely ridiculous stuff. These episodes just get better and better, don't they, really? I Every time I record one, I think this is the best episode yet. <laughs> and I, every time I get proved wrong because it's an even better one. So it looks like Sean Mir had a clean lap because he's in a 1 minute 32. So somehow he managed to get through all that carnage without really losing too much time. Uh, Brad Binder up ahead, he's having a look at Kevin Schwantz, I don't think he'll be able to get past him though. Although Moto2 and 500, there's not a lot in it, 500 is a little faster, but, you know, not a lot. So past Brad Binder, Schwantz seems to have gapped him by quite a bit though. So we hit the brakes. Oh, the rear lock in there as we go into turn three. Davizioso ahead of Schwantz there. Oh, there is a bit of a train up ahead. There are lots of riders up ahead, so I am being vigilant. I'm watching. Obviously, because of all these straights, it's uh, even worse, because they're going so slow on all these straights. You gain so much time. You can gain probably about 10 seconds a lap, maybe. And look at this. Look at this train. Look at this train of riders here. Some cat Chantra at the back of it. Oh, Dovi's almost crashed on the curb there as well. Oh, we've crashed on the curb! What is this? What is this? This has been a terrible episode for me. I'm up behind Stoner and Belega again. That's out of Belega. There we go. So behind Rossi. So Davizioso. Uh, there is Adovi winning ahead of Caparossi. Zarco. Doesn't look like any of our championship rivals are doing particularly great. Oliveira's up there. It doesn't look like Miller's up there either, so... Well, as I say that, as I say that, as soon as I have a bad episode, Miller comes back at me. So this championship is well and truly still alive here. So I'm trying to force my pay way past Rossi. Oh, this is where they are. This lap, is it? Oh, the carnage. And I've gone in because I was trying to outbreak someone. I've gone in faster than I would normally. I managed to get stopped, actually, somehow. I'm going to go off the track a little bit here. Right, got to watch out for them just cutting across because that's what they do when the AI get back on. They just rejoin the circuit for some reason. So it's a 58th place now. Watch out for Mario Adji on the outside. Oh, there's still contact going on. There's people weaving. I think that was Vermeulen. Oh, there's a bike lift. Right, I think I actually kind of got away with it. Oh, oh, that bike hit the wall and repelled back across. Oh, unbelievable scene to... I'm now to 30th. What is this? I've just gained about 40 positions on that straight. Fair enough, I'll take it, I'll take it. So, Sete Jipper now, we're behind him a couple of laps ago, we're behind him again now. It's the same one, I believe, as well. Oh yeah, there's still people going slow ahead, so I am watching out for that, I can see them. Obviously, we've got a massive amount of closing speed, we've got past Jipper now. now. Who is up ahead of me now? Is it... Who is it? Who is up ahead? I can't actually see. Oh, it's Simone Corsi, right, okay. Siren is in that battle with him as well. And I think there's a Honda Team Asia bike on the outside. I could be mistaken, though. Well, actually, I don't think it is because Siren still hasn't got past them yet, so... Pedro Costa's crashed, apparently. We're catching up to Corsi. Up the inside of Corsi we go. Are we going to get it done? I think so. Oliveira now leads the race. So it's, oh, it's Roberts Jr. It's Kenny Jr. So I don't know why I thought it was a Honda Team Asia rider. Miller's third. Miller is in third place. So as soon as I have a bad episode, Miller is straight back. Not sure how this happens. It's a bit of, this has been a very to and fro season. Well, these are the Roberts Jr. He goes. Afish. Yeah, it's been a very much a to and fro season between me and Miller because he was doing great while I was not doing that great. 
and he got quite a big lead, and then I've gone on a storm the last few episodes and done really well, and Miller's not been doing great, and now I'm doing bad, and Miller's doing great again. Round the outside of Roberts Jr., though. We're 27th on lap 5 of 7. There's definitely some good points up for grabs for us today, if we can keep it together. We've got to watch out. So, yeah, there's still riders like Gardner in front of us, which are like free overtakes. Up the inside of Sire in. Oh, there's Santa van der Gerber. Got to watch out for him. I went in way too hot because I tried to break. So, oh, they're on this straight. This is where they are on this straight. The big cluster. Oh, there's a bike car wheeling. Uh, I'm not going to. I just got to pay attention to where they are more than what's going on and who's crashing. Uh, Sire in. Fair play to him. That's just absolutely done that and he's absolutely destroyed me great oh it's a 17th though now come on why is it why is it let me accelerate go 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 back down into the 20s again diving to the right and side off the circuit around them right to 23rd there's a lot there's a few Rossies in front of us here come on Suzuki why is it yeah why is Suzuki riding like that he knows where to go he's a Moto3 rider they actually race here Oh, there's Garzo, there's Lorenzo's down. But, yeah, but uh, Sire in absolutely just went for it, right? Got through, and then because he was on my outside, I couldn't avoid that Red Bull Rookies rider. Oh! Quite a few have just crashed up in front of us. What's the 12th place now? T uh, there's Rossi in 10th, Rossi in 11th as well. Oh, I don't know how I've avoided that guy there. Toru Car was trying to attack us here. But Sire in's going to be looking pretty... Miller is winning. Miller has now got the lead of the race. Mobadali Oliveira. Where's Sire in in all this? Here we go, we've passed Bindo and we're going to do a double overtake. Two Rossies in one corner. Yes, don't mind if I do up to 10th place now. And that's still two to go and the, you know, the waves have been absolute carnage in this episode. It's been fantastic for us. I mean, because of the straights, it's ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous. I'm thinking Philip Island's going to be quite uh, over the top. Sepang probably as well. But the, these two long straights, you gain so much time. And that's where we've been catching them on these straights. Oh, there's people cutting across. It's Pekka Bagnaya. Why was he out there? Because he's actually, you know, knows. I think he must have had contact with someone because he's just weaved onto the track from off track. So now to ninth place. So it's a free position. So I appreciate that, Pekko. There are some slow moving Moto 3s ahead. Don't know who that is in front of me, but they actually got away lucky by. S they smashed Amos. Oh, it was Simoncelli. Simoncelli smashed Tom Booth Amos and stayed on. It was pretty lucky, really. Up the inside of Tom Booth. Oh, we've gone way too hot into there. I forget you can't particularly outbreak them that much. Because they're actually going a lot slower, so they don't have to break so much. As Ricardo Rossi, remember when Biaggi smashed into the back of him earlier on in the race? Well, Ricardo Rossi's just hit Moulin Rouge. No, it's Clement Rouge. It's not Moulin Rouge. Don't know why I, where I got that from. So, Urate then. Up ahead. Oh! Oh! So it's gone flying up. No! Oh! You just can't avoid them sometimes. It's so difficult. I've just been hit by, by Rossi. Oh, Siren was behind us, apparently. Well, we've lost places, but there's a big pack of riders and one to go. That's it, we're not going to catch them again because we caught them at the end of the lap. Oh, no, I think they're whole way around the sector. Oh, you're joking, I'm so unlucky in this episode. I've just been clipped by that bike spinning. Here's me thinking I was getting good at avoiding them, so we're now down to one point. I've got to just go for this here. I can't afford to lift. I'm now to sixth, so that was really worth it. <laughs> Dovi is now the next target for a position. Here we go on the power. Try to squeeze between Dovi and Suzaki here. K 
getting the slipstream off of Davizio, so this is going to be actual battle because he knows, you know, he's on a Ducati, I'm on a Yamaha. Here he goes, no, we've kept the position. Don't know who's up next, 2.9 seconds. I'm guessing, oh, so it's Bang Naya, so Bang Naya actually got through pretty well. So that's not great because that means Miller, if he's still winning, and Bang Naya are both going to beat me. And they are probably my two, you know, closest rivals, other than that Jorge Lorenzo. I'm not sure which season they're from, though. It's kind of hard to tell from the uh, sort of standings. But I'm guessing, no, my luck, Miller will have won. Yep, <laughs> there you go. So Miller got through that whole carnage all right at the end. I'm not sure how he always gets away with it. Because he set the fastest lap as well in the last lap, so he's had a totally clear lap somehow. Whereas we all got absolutely destroyed. As we come through, it's going to be sixth place. Pretty decent result, to be fair. As we come out the last corner, then. Up towards the line. A very, very unlucky episode. We definitely could have won that if we hadn't have been taken out so many times. We got took out about five Before times. We go to see the party at the podium, let's take a look at the MotoGP class final results. Oh, look who beat us. Miller, Jorge, Lorenzo, and uh, Bagnaia. So, actually, all my rivals beat me in this race. It was not a good race for me at all. But, uh, oh, well. We, we still scored pretty well. Fifth is not bad, uh, considering what happened to us. We're 25 seconds by Miller as well. Ridiculous stuff. So, let's have a look. Was there any weird results? So, Alonso Lopez uh, getting... Did Kawasaki finally get points? I don't think so. Riders' Championship. I now only lead by 20. But I don't think it was that Jorge Lorenzo, because he's still quite far behind. Uh, so another Jorge Lorenzo that's moved up a bit. No, actually, I think it was that one. We didn't finish that great. So we've still got 20 points over Jack Miller, which is a lot. But he could claw that back in a race or two. So it's still all to play for here. Uh, how many riders have actually scored points in this championship now? I think a couple of new scorers have been added there, because Ayagura got points. It's when I get points, uh, some random people get points sometimes. So now 99 of the 181 riders have scored, so one more rider and 100 of them will have scored points, which is an extremely competitive season. Team Championship, oh, Pramac having that absolute amazing day there with both their riders have moved back ahead of us. Uh, Patronus Yamaha in third place still. So look how many of the teams have scored now out of 102 teams, how many of them has scored? 70. So 70 teams have now scored points, so yeah, pretty decent amount. Let's have a look at the Constructors' Championship. After Catty move back ahead, no, we've got quite a big lead over them. But uh, Calix have overtaken NTS in the championship there. So I'm not sure who scored points for Calix, but still no points for MV Augusta, Kawasaki, or Nergica. And they are running out of time to get those points. Although it's virtually impossible for Nergica anyway, uh, since they, you know, <laughs> most of the time they don't know where they're going. Great, I've enjoyed that one. It was a very uh, chaotic episode. Unfortunately, we're not collecting a lot of the accidents, but we still got a pretty good result out of it, so it's not the end of the world. So like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're all staying safe, and I shall see you in the next one.